Hey there creators! Today I'm going to walk you through increasing the resolution of your designs so that you'll be able to put your logo creator images onto t-shirts, coffee mugs, and even mouse pads. So first, let's jump into the logo creator and create our first image. Let's use this one for our example. Now since the logo creator doesn't export vector images, there are times when you're going to want to increase the resolution of the logo so that it's bigger. Let's say that this is the image that we've created. We love it, it's our brand, it's our logo, and we want to put it onto a coffee mug. So the first thing I want to do is go over to the file menu and export as a transparent PNG. And I'll name it Original Logo. Okay, now to get this image put onto a coffee mug, we're going to go to a website that I like to go to called Vistaprint. Now Vistaprint allows you to make business cards, but it also allows you to put your image onto mouse pads, onto coffee mugs, watch. So from their menu, we're going to select all products and we're gonna go down to promotional items, personalized mugs, and we're gonna pick the kind of mug we want. So let's do photo mugs for now. So we just select it and when it pops up, you'll see that we have a mug and it says upload your design. So we've just made our design, so let's upload it. We're gonna choose a file and we'll select the one that we've just exported from the logo creator. Open. Okay, it pops up just fine. It looks good on the screen, but I see a resolution warning. My selected photo has a low resolution and may appear grainy or pixelated when printed. Even though it looks good in your browser, it's not gonna look super great when it finally ships to you. So what we have to do is increase the resolution. Here's how we're gonna do that. We're gonna go to a website called resizeyourimage.com. Choose your file, find the logo you've exported from the logo creator, and it pops up. Now for this, we wanna drag the border to the size we want the final logo to be. Here's our image, but we wanna zoom it a couple of times. So let's click, 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 and zoom. And we wanna make it even bigger. Once we've got the border to where we want it, click this little brown orange button here and our final image is pretty big and it's fairly smooth so to get this on your computer you can right click it and save my image and we'll call this new size logo PNG and now when we compare the two you can see that I've brought both of the logos into my Photoshop program and now when you upload your image choose a file and we'll find our new size logo you'll notice that my resolution is perfect and now we can send it to ourselves and it'll look awesome now there's another website I like to go to called cafepress.com now this has got a whole bunch of stuff you can do coffee mugs you can do mouse pads for example let's try a mouse pad all we have to do is add our image upload a photo now I have my original logo which was smaller and a new size logo which was a little bit bigger let's try the new one choose there's our cool mouse pad and we can even see what it looks like by enlarging it looks pretty good nice and crisp fits the whole mouse pad nice on cafe press you can also put your logo onto t-shirts and even iPad cases. Boom, there's my new iPad case with my logo on it. <laughs> it's kind of cool. And when you're done, click on finished, and I can have my iPad case shipped to me for like 17 bucks, US dollars. So I hope this tutorial on enlarging your logo to get it onto coffee mugs and iPad cases and t-shirts. So go check out resizeyourimage.com, cafepress.com, and vistaprint.com. Have fun designing, and thanks for watching this tutorial on the Logo Creator.